Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm coming to you today with another video. And this video today is another highly requested video and I'm going to be showing you guys today how to purchase your first order from your wholesale vendor. Whatever vendor that you guys choose, I'm going to be walking you guys through it today. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Alicia. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know. I love you so much and without further ado let's just dive right into this video okay angel so before we start out this video you guys already know i'm going to tell you to get your journal and get you a pen or a pencil because this video is going to be very informative and i'm kind of batch filming this video so if you see my other videos on how to start a sunglass business and i look exactly the same it's because i have to get as many of these videos out as i can for you guys because my time is so limited these days but let's just dive right into this content because this video is going to be super informative for you guys so for step number one i want for you guys to set a budget i need for you to know how much you're willing to spend for your first order um keep in mind that with most wholesale vendors they are going to require a order minimum in other words you're going to have to pay a hundred dollars in most cases to get your first order you can't make an order that's less than a hundred dollars in most cases in rare cases there's a 50 dollar minimum which is very rare but in most cases about a hundred dollars and in other cases it could be like 150 or more for a minimum so you just want to set a budget for yourself and say okay for my first order i'm just going to spend a hundred dollars okay so set a budget, that's number one. Number two, decide how much inventory you would like to start your business with. I suggest at least five frames to get your feet wet, like you're just getting started, you really don't know too much about the business. Um, five frames, get your feet wet, get your website up and running. 10 frames, if you're serious, like you're like, okay, I'm really serious about this thing. 10 frames, and you can afford it. You know, you don't wanna bite off more than you can chew. And I'm going to suggest 15 frames or more if you are growing and you're learning the business. So at this point, I'm going to start upgrading my inventory because I'm learning the business. I've been working it for a while now and I'm comfortable and I'm confident in my business. So this is something that you guys want to keep in mind when you're start starting your business. You want to know how much inventory you're going to start with. Number three. What I want to tell you guys is that you must have a reseller's permit to purchase from a wholesaler or to purchase from distributors. I will have a separate video on a reseller's permit and everything like that. So just stay tuned for that. Okay, number four, we are actually going to go over to a website. Um, not necessarily a website that I'm referring to you guys or anything, but I just want to walk you guys through it so you can get a chance to see how a wholesale website may look, you know, how you can place your first order and everything like that. I want to walk you guys through it visually. So let's go right over and check it out now. Okay, so I wanna show y'all this. If you guys can see over here, the first thing you see is my account. In most cases, um, whenever you get into your wholesale vendor site, you're always gonna have to log in. So you will go and you will log in, put in all your information, create an account, whatever like that. When you get to the wholesale site, there's always going to be different tabs for women, men, whatever. Whatever it is that you're looking for is going to be there. Let's just start off with this basic aviator. So it's going to give you all the information about this aviator. Unisex clear frame. It's an aviator. They're telling you right on this site specifically that this particular aviator is $2 per frame. Now you wanna make sure that you read all the details on it. It's telling you here that it has UV protection. It's telling you that this is a metal frame, you know, because all the time from the picture, you can't really tell exactly what you're getting. So make sure you're reading all the details and you know exactly what the product is that you're getting. And you can click on these to get like a closer view on them and everything like that, which is cool. And it's going to show you here your final total. So. It says $24. So you know that you're paying $24 for the dozen. It shows you here. Um, it also says one fits, one size fits all. It has UV protection, great quality, whatever. Let's say we wanted this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that to our cart. All right, boom. 
it's in our cart now. Such and such has been added to your cart. Now, let's say we want a kid's frame. I'm just kind of walking you guys through this just to give you a general idea. Okay, boom, whatever. Let's say we wanted these kids' frame. Now, this is a kids' plastic color reflective mirror sunglass. And like I said, you can go right on there, look at it, get a really close look at it. And they're telling you right here, you're going to be paying $1.53 per frame. Now, of course, with these sites, you have to buy and buy the dozen. So you're going to be paying $18.36 by the dozen. Let's add it to our cart. I like it. Now, also, I want for you guys to keep in mind that with most of these wholesale sites, you have a order minimum. Most of them is about $100 for a minimum. Some is more than that. Let's just go to view our cart. So you can't purchase these glasses wholesale unless you plan on paying a minimum. For this site in particular, a minimum of $50 US is required for checking out. So we don't have enough money. We don't have enough product in our cart yet. You guys can see our cart here. We don't have enough product in our cart yet. Our total currently is $42.36. So they're basically telling us that we have to continue shopping. Now I wanna show you this. They have an option here on this particular site where you can calculate your shipping based on where you live at because they are going to charge you shipping on your order. Um, but they're just going to give you the total and everything like that. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I want to walk you guys through. But, okay, so let's get to our $50 minimum. Let's get to our $50 minimum. Women, let's just find a cat eye frame. Okay, we got some cute little cat eyes here. Oh, let's go with the heart ones. I don't know why. I just want to go with the heart ones right now. Let's choose the heart frames. Cute. Really cute. These frames. $1.92 per pair. They're going to give you all the details on it. Make sure you look at all the details, guys. This is very important. This is your business. You want to make sure you know what kind of quality you get in. And it's $23.04 for the dozen. So when you're putting in your wholesale order, keep in mind the minimum. And also you want to set a budget for yourself because you want to know how much you want to pay for your inventory that day. Um, keep yourself on a budget. Always keep your order slips so you can know what you ordered. And our cart total now is $65.40. Let's proceed to check out. I just want to walk you guys through it as if you were making your own purchase so you can just see. So you're going to need your billing details, first and last name, your company's name, your reseller permit, which we need to get into in a separate video, email address, phone number, country, address, town, city, county postal code and you would continue so these are the things that you would need if you were putting in your order okay and don't shy away from the cell tab the cell tab is really awesome you just really never know what kind of sunglasses they may have on there which are cute and very affordable so don't shy away from the cell tab and let's get back into the video. Okay, Angel, so tip number five that I wanna give you guys is to make sure that you have a business account. Before you start your business and get everything up and running, you wanna make sure you have your business account. Your business account is where you're actually going to be taking the money from to get your inventory. Your business account is where all of your purchases and stuff that's made through your site, that's where all your money is going to be going back into, back into your business account. You wanna make sure you always have your business account separate from your personal account, always. So general rule of thumb, make sure you have a business account before you start, guys. Number six, make sure you have a business email address. This business email address is going to be strictly for business. It's going to be for business with working with different vendors. It's going to be business as far as questions and stuff that people may have that's purchasing from your business. It's going to be everything that's business related. So you must have a business email address. Number seven, make sure guys make sure that you read 
your wholesale vendors return policy because you don't want to get some sunglasses and you don't have enough time to check them out, see if they're scratched or whatever the case may be. You usually have a certain time frame that you have to report to that vendor if anything's wrong. Normally within like five days, maybe seven, depending on the vendor. In rare cases, you do have vendors that's like no returns and things like that and you don't wanna waste your money. I wish that's something that somebody would've told me starting out. But you know, in business, it's something that you learn as you go. So I'm going to be telling you guys all these different things that I learned and fell on my face on. So make sure you check with your wholesale vendor. It's going to be on their website. You'll be able to see like their shipping information and their return policy and everything like that. So just check it out and make sure you're aware of, you know, what you're getting into because you are running a business and people is going to be relying on you to be, you know, on time and prompt with your orders and your shipments and to make sure nothing's broke and everything is as advertised. So you have to make sure you are on top of who you are purchasing from. If you guys did not know, I have a wholesale vendors list that's for purchase. I will make sure I link it down below. Everything has been researched, everything. Make sure you guys check out my how to start a sunglass business playlist. I'll make sure I put it in the card and put it down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment down some questions if I have not answered all your questions. Or if you're just unsure about some things, please comment them down below. I hope you guys found this video very informative. And of course, I'll see you guys in my next video. But always remember the secret to success. Put God first. Always be determined. And consistency is key. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels.